Welcome to a new course related to how to teach the skills of English. This time we're talking about how to teach speaking, especially in a communicative way and integrated with the other skills. We're going to talk about different things related to what kind of speaking activities should we do and uh, why encourage students to speak, how can we correct their mistakes, your role in the class and, uh, as a teacher and the different activities that you can apply inside the class. What kind of speaking should the students do here? There are two different types, which is the controlled practice and the free practice, as we talked about in the lesson planning course before. In the controlled practice, the students are merely creating sentences, but in the free practice, they are using all of the grammar, the vocabulary, and the language that they already know, and they are using it in a free practice. Here, we're trying to push them to reach the free practice phase. Why should we encourage our students to speak? Well, first, speaking would actually motivate them to learn more, and also it is going to help them get more engaged and uh, capable of communicating with other people outside the class. We're not just teaching them vocab and grammar and reading and writing, we're also uh, teaching them speaking because this is what they are going to use uh, with foreigners, this is what they are going to use at their jobs and, and traveling and so on. So that's why speaking is very important, but also we should not neglect the other skills. 